moving from the bees fanning keeping the hive cool and uh, getting their honey work down to the right humidity or right moisture content okay this hive 20 has a top feeder on it as well a little bit of nectar left in there tells me the flows on good bees will uh, go for nectar sources before they eat sugar water. So it looks like I left an open spot here to do a, a frame feeder if I wanted. Most of the bees are right in here. It's not that strong. Not as strong as what I'd like to see. So we had them reduced down pretty small. I'm just going to cut in about right here. It's uh, nectar and pollen. And there she is already. She's a little bigger. Lighter colored. So uh, that's one small brood frame that she's working on there. Let's uh, see... If we got more right here. Yeah, kind of spotty there. And spotty there. Some of that may have emerged. Based on her population though, I think she just took a while to get going. Same thing. Kind of spotty. There are a few larvae in the empty cells, so she is backfilling those. I don't know that she's just not laying a good pattern or and it's all nectar so as far as queen performance goes I'd give her a C maybe a C minus but hey she's there she's alive and she's laying so it's not like they don't have a uh, food source They've got all this uh, nectar up here. Okay, 28. Next, that's the pissy hive. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, so here's hive 28. Uh, the last uh, few times I've gone in this, it's just been a pretty rank hive, but uh, they don't seem to be bothering me at all right now. And uh, sounds like my neighbor's mowing. Let's get this honey super off of here. We'll check its weight. Oh, great. This is the one that's got these little dinky handles. I hate that. Fortunately, it's not very heavy. I'll go commando with no smoke here, see if we can get her done. Getting a smell of that. I got a smell of something kind of rank, but make sure it wasn't coming from this hive. It's not. 
Might be something dead back in the woods behind me. Oh yeah, here they come. Not near as bad though as what I'm used to from them. So that's just a honey frame. There's a few. I thought that was drone cells sticking out, but I think that's just a uh, honey that's capped a little high. All right, we're going with smoke now. So if this new queen has survived, uh, her offspring won't be like this. They'll be nice and calm and these old grumpy bees will die off. There's a slab of honey. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. Give me more room to work here. There's another honey frame. Here's a brand new frame. They're uh, drawing that out. So they're making some comb. That's all nectar. And the same. I want to see some brood here. So this frame here, this side is all eggs and this is all larva. So she has, oh, there she is. Wait a minute. She's not marked. Oh, she's. So, I'm certain that queen was marked that I put in here. So, full disclosure, I inspected this hive probably 10 days ago, and I found a white marked queen. So, her markings come off, or they've superseded her. So there's brood, and there's also a swarm cell forming there, and there's a larva in it. So now I'm looking for supersedure type cells to see if they had made a new queen. This side's all laid up eggs. This is all nectar. All right. Let's get down on the bottom. I'm gonna look for a white dot on the queen is what I'm gonna be looking for. This is unacceptable. Can't handle that. Looks like most of the bees are up in the top. So I'm going to get this hive uh, buttoned up and I'm going to run over and look at my book and see the date I inspected this and found the white marked queen and see if it's been enough time for them to have done a supersedure, which I don't think it is. I'm guessing it was the end of May and uh, today's the 16th. I think it's 19 days for a queen from egg to emerge. She would have had to mate it and come back as well. Stay down. There's nothing up here for you. This is not the human you're looking for. Oh man, that's a heavy one.
Okay, so I went and checked my notes and I did not write down when I checked this uh, queen the second time. She was introduced on the 15th. Uh, today is June 16th, so a, another month. I think it was about a week uh, after I'd introduced her that I checked it and found her. So that, man, it's borderline. And uh, I don't think they could have requeened, had a mated queen back, and had as much brood in there as what I saw. So I think that's the Wildflower Meadows queen and the white mark has come off her back. Uh, and I didn't see any supersedure cells. So that's, that's what I think happened here. So let's uh, finish this up over at Hive 30 and uh, finish up this video. Okay, here's uh, 29 and 30. And 30's our Wildflower Meadows nuke, the last one. You can see they're bearding pretty good for a nuke. And I could probably uh, take that uh, block of wood off of their entrance. But uh, they're over here in the trees. They don't get as much air as the, the ones out front. Let's uh, get in there, check it out. And uh, I was thinking this is probably one where we want to move up to a 10 frame box. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, they're good. They're queen right. I'm not going to go in there and look for that queen in this video. It would be just too long. I'm going to uh, call it uh, six for six. Uh, I'm going to say our uh, Hive 28 over there is a wildflower meadows queen. So, uh, based on the things I mentioned before. So, uh, I'm going to shoot another video uh, expanding this out, and uh, we'll end this here. So, give me a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.